down. A huge free kick from Welshman Neil Edwards saw the ball being flicked into the path of Clive Platt. Just when it seemed he was certain to score, Alan Tate did what seemed the impossible and saved the goal. Five minutes later, some good interplay saw Martinez giving time on the ball. He then crossed, and Kevin Nugent made amends for his earlier miss to put the Swans one up. We can see that a pinpoint ball from the ex Walsall man was run well by Nugent, and Edwards had no chance in the Rochdale goal. Just on the stroke of half time, Rochdale were awarded a free kick in a dangerous position. Often decisions like this are essential, and we can see clearly it's the Rochdale player who commits the offence. Well, such has been Swansea's luck this season that you can almost guarantee a goal coming from the resulting free kick. Centre back Gareth Griffiths rising above the Swans' defence and equalise. At the start of the second half, and it was Dale who started the brighter. The ball finally finds its way to Lee McEverly. He then lays it off to Flit Croft, whose cross is put onto his own post by Lee Jenkins. Still, Dale have a chance, but thankfully the ball finally came to Leon Britton, who played it out to safety. 25 minutes into the second half, and the ball is well won in midfield. West Ham and Britain has time to deliver a Premiership quality cross from Mark Richards. He then guides the ball off the post and into the Rochdale net. We can see that the floating cross was weighted perfectly, and although taking an agonising amount of time to cross the line, it gave the Swans 2-1 lead. Still Rochdale came forward, and a good cross-goal header from Paul Connor bounced just wide of Cutler's left-hand post. It was now all Rochdale, and with minutes remaining, they pushed all their men into the Swansea box. But a big clearance gave Richards a one-on-one -on -one with Neil Edwards, the Welshman in the Dale goal. With time to take it around the Aberdeen man, he chose to shoot, with Edwards saving well. In the final seconds, Dale had a corner, and although Grand made Griffiths knock down, it went well over the bar. So, three huge points for Swansea, and afterwards, we asked Brian Flynn just how he felt with one game left to play. It's still in our hands, isn't it? You know, and that's the situation where we wanted to find ourselves, that we go into the last game of the season, knowing if we do the job properly, we'll be safe, and uh, we'll be looking forward to the game against Hull. Well, they did a bit, didn't they?